Assalamu alaikum. I'm your guest host, Ali. It's my pleasure to announce a new podcast uh, by Hassan Shemrani, um, who's going to be doing a series of podcasts. Uh, Hassan's with me now. I'm just helping him out. I'm just help him, helping him out uh, launch this little podcast series that he's going to be doing. Assalamu alaikum, Akhi. Assalamu alaikum, dear listeners. Yeah, Akhi. Jazakallah khair first. What are you doing? I, um, uh, as you know, I've been away for a while. Well, never, I've never been really away. <laughs> you know, we never stop our dawah. Uh, I guess we'll start there, Hassan. I guess we'll start there. Yeah. So you left um, the YouTube project, the Sunni Defense, a while ago, and you've moved on to other projects. What have you been working on? Yeah. So, as you know, the Sunni Defense, when I was um, I was for a, for a while um, active in the Sunni Defense, uh, and, and I still support it, and they're doing a great job. But it was never, you know, if people, those who know me, they know that it was never my style, and especially... Uh, due to my um, occupation and the jobs that I have to be committed in that way, i.e. Um, on that YouTube channel, videos here and there, Hyde Park stuff. So this is this is the only really reasons people should know why I'm not active on there anymore. Um, I haven't got that time. So ever since uh, I left the Sunni defense, I'm doing what I used to do the last uh, more than... Well, what is it now? It's 2000. Well, over 15 years now since I left Shiism, which is, alhamdulillah, I'm blessed uh, with knowing four languages. So, ever since I left Shiism, December 2003, winter 2003, I have several projects, several websites, writing for several websites, doing translation work, and that's what I do, Akhi. And I've seen you pop up on Farsi TV. Oh yeah, that's not new as well. Um, 2010, summer 2010, Wasal Farsi launched the first, not the first ever, but one of the first. The first ever was Noor TV. The first, one of the first Sunni Persian speaking in Persian language. Iranian Sunni TV channels that do not exist within Iran, obviously, because the Iranian government <laughs> that claims unity and back that, back that, <laughs> doesn't allow it. So yeah, since uh, from 2010 uh, till today, I work for um, well, formerly known uh, uh, Wasal Farsi TV. It, it changed uh, completely. Uh, it's nothing to do with Wasal anymore. It's Torhid TV since 2000 and... What is it? Um, since 2000 and, uh, I think 15, yeah. And, uh, yes, I do work there. I've, I've got my live show. I've, saw, I've seen you sharing a few or one of my shows on YouTube. I've got my live show there once a week again. Nothing special. Even that is really difficult for me. Difficult as in due to my... Um, well... Uh, Personal life, the jobs I have to do at the very same TV station, I do technical work. Right, right. And I have a live show once a week. And you can imagine, live show. And it's not like, you know, what the opponents and the enemies of Ahl Sunnah say. Oh, Wahhabi money, or oh, let's shout with Wahhabi money. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like that. It's a very, very modest, tiny studio we have. And we don't even have one employee who picks up the phones, who picks up the phones. You know, when people call into the show, I have to pick up the phones myself. So that's why people, <laughs> you know, they get the ability to shout into the uh, show and insult. It's semi-professional, but this is what we have. This is what Ahl Sunnah has, unfortunately. Not more than that. And we work with that. Alhamdulillah. So that's my main occupation. Alhamdulillah. And you want to have a podcast to those activities yeah yeah so because um first of all Akhi, and i mean it you know we are not people are um, a muslim should be humble and modest in his speech as much as he can and when, what i'm gonna say now is not to, to try to be humble or whatnot 
we Ahl Sunnah have very, very, very high standards. I.e., a scholar to us is not every Tom, Dick, and Harry or everybody with an amama with a turban on his head who, who can't recite the Fatiha correctly and doesn't know Arabic, you know? To us, Ahl Sunnah and Jama'ah, a scholar is on a tabaqa, is on a level, it is very high. So is even a proper student of knowledge. I'm not even a student of knowledge. I don't consider myself a student of knowledge. I am a simple researcher uh, into Shiism. I am someone with an Iranian background. I'm, mu I'm, mu I'm multi-ethnic. I'm of Persian, Arabic, ethnic background. Um, I'm from Iran. I used to be Shia'i. I used to be a practicing Shia'i. And I'm doing research ever since I... Well, I did research in order... Uh, and that caused me to leave Shiism, of course. But I've never re stopped my research. Um, and uh, ever since I left Shiism. And the pod podcast, I decided... Uh, probably on SoundCloud or wherever it's best. Because this is what I can definitely dedicate to. Anything else would be an empty promise. And I've seen some... I've seen some brothers and sisters. Um, again, not, I'm nobody, and I'm not my name is not worth me mentioning. But I've been contacted by some brothers and sisters like, you know, we miss you on the Sunni defense. Ah, uh, where is Hassan Shimrani? Uh, you know, I'm flattered. <laughs> I don't reward them. But oh, I, I said to myself, well, look, um, I talk to brothers. I'm in uh, WhatsApp groups, and they tell me they enjoy listening to me. I benefit from them, and they benefit from me. I said to myself, okay, um, despite all my commitment, a very, very busy schedule, daily schedule. Uh, right now, right now that I'm talking to you, right now, and you know that you're with this, Ali. <laughs> we are doing it while, uh, while I'm driving, while I'm driving on my way to work. That's the only time i found. So I'm, it's very tight when it comes to time for me. So then I said to myself, the podcast the most ideal platform um, because you know I switch it on and record it and then I'm gonna you know uh, talk about things uh, about my thoughts uh, yes of course it's gonna be mainly about Shiism but, I, but not necessarily restricted to that as you might know um, I have to continue my studies I study uh, history one of my subjects and um I'm very interested in history, very interested in Middle Eastern history, African history, and um, so yeah. Uh, now, how often do you plan on doing this podcast series? That's the thing. I hope, um, I hope it's going to be a semi-regular thing. <laughs> semi-regular. Sure, so no, no promises right now. Not like a, a once-a-week thing. or. Is that, I, will, I hope. I hope that at least, you know, um, I can do it. Should you know? It sounds easy, um, and you see, everybody, um, Ali, and I think the listeners will admit to that. Everybody has some for, sort of um, qualities and its characteristics, and uh, and everybody should be honest with himself when he puts himself on the mizan, on the scale. He should know. All right, I'm gonna now judge myself. What am I good at? What am I not very good at? I know myself. I know my, nobody knows myself better than my old mother. I am not the best when it comes to uh, uh, being organized. Unfortunately, I have to try my best. Uh, everybody has to improve his, uh, you know, his little faults or big faults he has. My problem, uh, although I do believe I have valid, valid excuses. As I said, in my life, uh, I, I do... Legendary two jobs. Sometimes third job. I'm extremely busy, um, and I think that could be accepted as a valid excuse for not doing things regularly, like the Dawa work that I'm that I'm known for. But despite all of that, I hope that I will do my utmost to be around every once in a while. Hopefully, at least once a week um, to upload something. And yes, I agree. Some people might say, um, yeah, blah, blah, blah. come on, then just make a video. Uh, just go on YouTube. And, and then, you see, this all things that I would um, 
I lie to myself and, and lie to people who want to listen to me. It's not going to happen. I'm not going to be very uh, active. I'm not going to have the time. I'm not going to go switch this on and make the video. The most ideal platform for now is, you know, on my way work, on my back from work, you know, those few minutes, half an hour max, 40 minutes that you have time to use right. that platform. Now, do I you see the podcast evolving into anything more than you just recording yourself on your drive to work or your drive home? Are you going to ha are you going to be interacting with your listeners? Well, I have to see how it goes. Let's see how this goes. I mean it again. I lost my witness. I don't have any expectations. For me, I was... Uh, I was... Yeah, you're breaking up, Hassan. The last oh. 10 seconds, we didn't hear anything. I said that for me, I'm going to... I'm going to wait and see how it's going to work. Podcast, But I have no high expectations. My media, my intention was, uh, is that um, just when I hear that people are interested in regularly asking about me, why should I said to myself, oh, you know what, Hassan? You know what, Hassan? Even if, even, if it's, even if it's two people, even if it's ten people who might benefit from you, all right, and the least you can do is, you know, share these things. Um, uh, that, as you know, you know it myself. There's no secret in your friend. Yeah, Hassan. We, 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 before you start taking yeah. this podcast yeah. super, super and, uh, seriously, you're, you're going to have to get a mic and a good internet connection. Yeah, but uh, come on, you have to admit um, uh, this. 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 this Google uh, or whatever from where we are recording, I, have, I haven't seen one of these internet connections that are flawless. They all have... Um, right, right, right. Well, 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 well to, to, to be fair, this one is being recorded over the internet. Um, I guess uh, eventually you'll be recording it offline, just, you know, as a long voice uh, note on your phone and then uploading it to SoundCloud or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, inshallah. Of course. So, so, so you don't even need a great internet connection, just, just a good mic. Exactly, exactly. That's, it's, it's going to record it. And, well, as I said, you are one witness. You know me from other groups. You know that I share my thoughts. So what's the difference? I share my thoughts um, in a WhatsApp group. So I share my thoughts on a platform like SoundCloud. Right? And reaches uh, more people. I um, give my comments. Right, right. When on things. But, so, so, as you know, Ali, Ali, it's probably things are on your mind now. Questions are on your mind. Many things have happened. Some of our opponents are popping up again and whatnot. <laughs> and and uh, yeah, accusations, as usual, you know, they're constantly making accusations. Uh, I, I was just about to say to our listeners, yeah. um, one thing that Hassan's great at is reacting to videos. So what okay. Hassan does is he'll watch a new video um, by one of our theological opponents, and then Hassan will just vent <laughs> and, okay. and refute the video in a WhatsApp group. And uh, a lot of the time, the brothers I've been telling them, Hassan, this is great. Why don't you do a video? Why don't you do something? You know, you're benefiting the guys in the group. Why don't you benefit a wider audience? So uh, right. I'm, I'm sure this is one of the reasons why you're doing exactly, exactly, course. exactly. Not on the scale of I have no time for. It. Not on the uh, on the scale of YouTube, staying in front of the camera, going between behind, standing behind a nice uh, scenery in Holland Park, <laughs> recording that. <and> then, <laughs> no, no, I, no, nothing like that. The most I can give back is this. And I hope that, that, that that's all it is. Not that it's worth it to listen to me. Not that I'm anyone. I'm not claiming that. It's like those who, may Allah bless them, benefit from me, like listening to me, uh, believe that what I say is beneficial. That's it. That's on the platform where you can find me. Because as I said, more than once I saw brothers and sisters commenting here and there, messaging me, why are you, Akhi? I heard nothing from you. I said, Akhi. Uh, in fact, Brother Ali, uh, my Twitter account is, 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 uh, is, is uh, I, I didn't delete it, but uh, like, it's not active. I generally don't know. Right, it. it's, it's just there so people can read yeah. your own stuff. Yeah, my Ibn Hussein. And on the Ibn Hussein Twitter account, I wrote, I don't do taqiyya, akhi. I'm not scared of these people, akhi. And I, I'm going to mention a thing one more time. Before that, 
you can read my last tweet on my official Twitter account. I said, oh, guys, I'm, I'm never going to be gone. I'm always going to do that, inshallah. I'm always going to fight with my tongue and my pen intellectually. This evil Zandak, uh, religion of Zandaka, which is Rafidism, which is Islam, which is. That's it. That's, a, that, 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 that's uh, what I believe. It's uh, my speciality. There's nothing wrong with it. And I give the freedom to my opponent to do the same thing. Go and refute Bakrism if you can, if you want. Everyone's freedom. We do our stuff, they do their stuff. But yeah, as it, uh, but, but uh, as you said, uh, I think you, I mentioned and you mentioned as well, these b accusations that uh, pop up. What is the latest one, Ali? Every time something pops up. Well, re recently we've had uh, a, a short video um, on Rafida, so they've come back. And there's, there's a short video by Shuberi. Um, well, why, why don't you go from there? What exactly is he trying to do? Oh, yeah, yeah, the Rafa the Org people, yeah. Uh, first of all, you can... From the Rafa the Org people, Rafa uh, Allah, may Allah reject them. As you can see, the, there's yani, every alcohol, yani, any person of intellect can see that these people work with proper resources. Yeah, it's, it's funny, the irony always that Ahl Sunnah are accused of Oh, the Wahhabi petrol dollars and whatnot. <laughs> Everybody can see how, how in Saudi Arabia the scholars are left and right, uh, left, right, and center being imprisoned. And there's no, there's no funding or nothing. But you have seen what uh, resources, fundings they have, what what studios they have, and uh, yani the manpower they have. But they will still fail, of course, because they are Ahlul Batil. They are the people of falsehood. And they are back, and you are you ask particularly about Shubayri and the Tawassal thing. I say, Akhi, sip your tea, relax. Sit and relax. Akhi Ali and every from Ahlul Sunnah. Wallahi, Akhi. Uh, by the way, they copy, you know, they, they copy our terminologies. They even start speaking like us. Wallahi, before they didn't talk like this. They accuse us out of all to talk like Matusis and whatnot, which is a trait of their scholars and their teeth. Uh, Miski, Majusi, Zanadiqa, Zandaqa, Wallahi, they didn't know these words. Khurafat, they didn't know these words. They learned it all from us. And now they are trying to turn the table, Akhiyah. That's all it is. They're listening. They're trying to turn the table. What do I mean they're trying try to turn the table? And it's not a new method. Look, the reality of Rafidism, the Shirkiyat, the Kufriyat, the Zandaqa, the heresies, uh, the... the polytheistic teachings, the exaggeration of Ahlul Bayt it is so extreme, it's so, it looks so bad to them, that they know they can't, if they justify it, they will look stupid. That's why even remember last year, even the Shubedi guy himself, he didn't comment it much on all these Tons of anti-Majus videos. Now, anti-Majus refuted. Remember this, claimed anti-Majus. All of all videos, they picked one that is about the topic of anthropomorphism. They see, right? And this is their trick, Akhi Ali. And I say, sip your tea and sit back and relax because it's nothing new. This is only their own tactic. I know it from the Arab in Arabic language and on Arab forms and whatnot. They try to turn the, ta the table and and throw the accusation back to Sunni, toss it at Sunni, saying, oh, you're actually Muslims. You're Muslims. You're Muslims for believing, I don't know, Allah is an actual body and, and so on and so forth. Um, so you're Muslims. You know, that jahileen, I don't want to get well, too much now into this topic, because even if one, even if one holds the incorrect belief of the Mushabbiha, that Allah is an actual jism, this is a form of kufr. Not a, not a form of shirk, because that entity he worships in his mind is still the one and only entity that he is, this, that he is describing wrongly, i.e. he is describing that entity wrongly. This is not an... But, Ahi, Allah al-Musta'an, and he worship a start. These people don't know when to use kufr, shirk, bid'ah, khurafa, and, and tabarruk, and all these terminologies. They throw them around. They don't understand when to use it. So yes, Akhi, they came back. Shumeri, I will tell you, Akhi, what Shumeri will do. Nothing new. Um, some extreme fall uh, among the Muslim sects or that attribute themselves to the Muslims use the same arguments. He will, he will mix up the topic of 
tawassul with literally praying to people other than Allah. And he will quote some Sunni tafsir that, that have nothing to do with his beliefs. And yeah, it's just a, a, a it's going to be a very desperate attempt to water down clear cut verses in the Quran that speak about invoking Allah alone. None other than Allah. None includes any other than Allah. Not just literal gods, but angels, imams, peers, and whatnot. So yeah, let's wait. I know that you guys uh, from the Sunni defense, you got uh, your eyes on him as well, on them. Uh, I hope you guys do. Uh, if it's I, 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 yeah, we, we've got our eyes everywhere. Um, we're, we're quite active on various social media accounts. Um, we we right. watch everything. Um, yep. And then once in a while, we choose to respond to something. Um, obviously, Shaberi hasn't come, or Rafa haven't really come with anything yet worth responding to. Um, but um, this announcement um, has got our interest. So we're going to wait to see what they come with. Akhi Shaberi, Akhi, I'm not a master of Arabic. But Shaberi is a Muammam, Akhi. He wears the tire. He's now in a. He's on a level of the scholars, even if it's the low country or whatever. I think the guy on Fedek TV, I saw him, people asking him to, to just, uh, he was asked to give his uh, impression about the, an alleged uh, a movie they are trying to produce, of course, Kufar's help. Um, so then they asked him his opinion. He says, oh, no, can I talk in uh, English? I think the guy doesn't know Arabic, you know. The guy doesn't know Arabic. He's a little. He's a kid. He's a kid with a turban on his head, and um, he's not going to reinvent the wheel. You know, we know the shubhat. We know what they're going to bring. We know the tafsir of the khalaf. We know what they're going to bring from the salaf. Even we know these excuses. We know the excuses of the kuburin. You know, and and trust me, they know that we know. They know that we we can we can uh, refute them easily based on the intellect and the Qur'an, Qur'anic verses. For them, Akhi, it's just to save face. Damage control. You understand? Trust me. Remember last year when Shubedi, you could tell the frustration and the shivering when his hands were all constantly shaking in videos. You know? You, you could tell that he and his likes are worried that Shias are waking up. Shias are tired of these pathetic justifications for blatant shirk and Fatima and Ali Ali Muslim worship under the disguise of Tawassul. Remember he 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 gave the advice, oh if you watch these videos, go check the our Arabic original Arabic. Akhi, the likes of anti Majus in Sunni defense till today I haven't seen one serious enemy or Arab speaker accusing any of you guys, the heads of anti Majus and the heads of Sunni defense of mistranslating anything in your Arabic stuff. That, that is telling, isn't it? That, that, that says a lot. They know nothing has been translated. They know it's not the issue of out of context. You know, it's not few second clips. It is constantly hundreds upon hundreds of videos repeatedly showing blatant kufr that is mainstream in their religion, mainstream in their books of dua. And all these they're going to do, Akhi, is to try to water it down. That's what it is. To play it down. Water it down. Using, you know, as usual, you know, Rafa, they always make istighatha to the, to the most khurafi, most superstitious type of so-called Sunnis. That's why you see always Shias, whenever, uh, I remember uh, one sheikh said, whenever a Shia says that this guy or this person or this group are proper Sunnis, know that they are the worst of Sunnis. <laughs> and whenever a Shia, Rafa, they say, oh, these guys are the worst Sunnis and they are Wahhabi, know that they are the closest at the very least, to the truth. Of course. Of course, a Rafidi will look for, for what better, uh, you know, what, what is to his, uh, what benefits him. Uh, what is in agreement with his madhab that is all about imam worship. So, he goes after tafsir or statements of so-called scholars that instead of, you know, praying to imams, pray to peers, pray to sheikhs, pray to Abdul Qadr al-Jilani. Or, in the best case, they will bring actual quality tafsir. But, you know, that, that, that tafsir, that form of tawassul mentioned there has nothing to do with their shirk tawassul. Because there is shara'i tawassul and there is non-shara'i, non-i.e. Uh, legal tawassul. But this is for the future. And I hope the likes of you, Sunni Defense and anti Majus 
going to respond to that. If it's worthy a response, we have to see, obviously. So, yeah. Um, and uh, what was it? Oh, uh, what was it? Um, may Allah give you success in this new podcast. Um, you mm, got to think of a name. You've got to get a good name. We, we were planning on starting something similar when you were working really? with the defense. Oh, have you? Um, we had one video called Hassan's Take. Oh. Right? If you remember. Oh, um, yeah. That was we only did one. Yeah, you were speaking about Hui. Yeah. Um, so, so maybe we can go with Hassan's Take. I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a good name. Maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe we can go with Hassan's take. Um, one more thing, Achi, before... Go for it, go for it. I want to conclude it. You know, Achi, that's, uh, when, I'm, when I, I mentioned earlier, um, all, always these accusations going around. Don't forget, Achi Ali, and those who follow me, yani, follow the da'wah, they're aware. Remember in 2016-17, when was it? When these Rafa.org people, they tried to play smart, and they thought they have exposed me by making a link that, oh, yeah, uh, uh, owner of anti Jews. Oh, no, main contributor of anti Jews. Achi, I'm telling you, Allah is my witness. These people thought that I'm a coward and I will deny it. Oh, no, 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 I have no. Achi, I stand for what I do. These people were shocked a year and more ago when I came out and said, no, you absolute uh, masakin. So, I'm not the owner of Antibuju, never have been. If I would be, be, if I would be the owner of Antibuju, well, why I would be proud? Antibuju is not perfect, but I would be proud. It does more good than harm, I believe personally, and many believe. But I'm not the owner. But I speak four languages, I do translation work for them and for many others. Yes, I do. Proudly. Is it a crime? They were shocked, actually. They didn't expect that I come out. I came out as in, in videos, on my Twitter, on my official Twitter, on my official social media. And now, I say the same again. People going around. Yeah, I'm not going to mention name, but I had even on Facebook uh, Messenger, I had an exchange with someone, with one of the uh, main uh, now Shia Dawa carriers in the West. I had an exchange with him just a few days ago. And I told that person, I said, listen, I stand for what I did. Remember when I said proudly, yes, I do translation with anti-Majus. So what? You're going to do? Alhamdulillah. Anti-Majus, radiallahu anhum, alayhim as salam. Sunni defense, radiallahu anhum, alayhim as salam. By the way, it's, it's normal prayer, yeah? The people not, not going to freak out, inshallah. May Allah, may Allah be pleased with them. Peace of Allah be on them. And may Allah correct their mistakes and may Allah make them better in their da'wah. Yeah, I, I stand for that. So people going around Ali and claiming YouTube pages popping up, popping up here and there. Yeah, what I told you, Akhi, oh, I even heard that one person said, "Oh, your voice is on that YouTube channel, and your voice is on that YouTube." Akhi, my voice is everywhere around the net. Huh? My Rafa that make pictures of me, you know, is everywhere on the net. I don't cry, I don't whine like a baby, you know. And I, I, I'm not a, I'm not a chadith like some people who go and. Uh, put the picture uh, of my mother, Akhi. You know, as you know, Akhi, these people uh, spread the picture of my mother's Instagram. My mother, Miskina, Akhi, she didn't know how to make her Instagram private. For a while, it wasn't private. It's still a personal Instagram. I don't know how they found out that this is my mother. They did. Uh, uh, it's not that difficult, I guess. And uh, they took pictures of the Akhi. My mother, my mother is a Shia born. Sayyida lady, actually. Subhanallah. Wallahi, the most innocent woman in the world. And they went around. <laughs> and it's the irony, actually. They no, called no, someone. No, 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 you know what's funny? No, you know the irony, sorry. The irony is, actually, my mother still considers herself a Shia. I have the best relationship with her. We disagree on things. But she considers herself a Shia. Yeah, she's not a muhajjaba, like, <laughs> like most Iranian women. This is one of the cause, of course, is this damn Iranian uh, revolution regime and Shiism itself and the disgusting repetition there scholars have from Najaf to Qom as you know Akhi, uh, you have some Iranian background as well you know, they're the most hated creatures in Iran amongst them 100% one can count um, the Shia clergy clerics of Iran so anyway my mother is an innocent person Akhi. they went and spread pictures of my mother Akhi. 
the innocent woman in her in her sixties uh, and uh, insulted her left and said and the, and the irony is that she's on their deen. She's on their deen. And you look at these hamqa. Look at these people who are deprived on aql and claim aql, uh, claim intellect. But we are not like that, uh, I tell my enemies, enemies and opponents. I, bro, I don't have time when they accuse me. Oh, this YouTube channel. Oh, there's Hassan Shemranis. I think that's Shemranis. Akhi, my brother told me anywhere a name pops up, so rich is him, and I know that's you. Hey, Shemranis, that's you. And I know. Listen, I'm not scared of you. I'm proud of what I do. If I'm with uh, Sunni Defense, and I'm a Sunni Defense member, well, I am proud of it. And I'm going to wear a t shirt if you like with Sunni Defense on it. I'm not going to hide it. If I'm with Anti Majus, I'm the owner of Adibuju's main contributor. Wallahi, I'm going to wear a t-shirt and walk around. And I'm not scared of none of you. But I'm not. Neither uh, Sunni Defense is mine. Neither am I a main contributor of Sunni Defense. Neither Adibuju's is mine. Neither I'm the main contributor of Adibuju's. I used to work all work with all of them and even more. I think my enemies don't know. They think it stops here. I've worked with... I've worked with projects in Thailand in every language. I I believe this. I worship Allah by refuting the enemies of Allah, the Rafidah among them, the extremists. Who by Allah their first victim before the Sunnis are the Shia laymen. Shia laymen are the victims, the first victims of, uh, of Shiism. And that's my personal opinion. It is the opinion of many people, obviously. Most people, most Sunnis who Consciously reject Shiism, knowingly have knowledge. But that's it, Akhi. I just wanted to make clear none of these channels are mine. My voice popping up here, there, there. I told some brothers, uh, don't do that anymore, or do you know who did it? Whatever the case, I can't control stuff out there on the net. People will, can use my pictures. I'm not um, weak like my opponents. As you know, Akhi, we know very well. Many of them are very, very, very vulnerable, it seems, and uh, very weak. Yeah, yeah, very weak. You can tell they're, they're breaking, like, because of... I believe if you're a public person, I think people taking the PI double five, the mic of me, well, going to happen, you know? I put myself in public, I have to expect that. But there are certain things that have uh, moral, moral limits, and that includes family and mothers especially mothers that these people have even crossed that line but Allah will punish them and you know uh, how do they say it in English who, who, who loves, loves loves the best something like that you know these people Allah, Allah as I said one time to you even in private um, I would fear Allah and the punishment of Allah if I would accuse or insult the mother of the worst enemy of Islam, even of Abu Lahab's mother. Nobody does this. So, anyway, I make that clear. And, uh, yeah, let's see. In the future, I'm going to upload more stuff, going to comment on stuff. And uh, maybe you as well on social media here and there can share then the actual... I think it's, it's going to be on South South. Sounds uh, no, I guess it's a good platform for, for this. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Akhi, for your time. And um, yeah, this one here is gonna be, uh, get uploaded, and then yeah, people can. I know on SoundCloud you can add someone. People can listen just like I do. They can listen on the way to work, or back, or whenever they're free, whenever it's worth it to listen to me. Thank you very much for your time, and uh, I think everybody is listening or right? uh, was listening. Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.